Hello, this movie is for Learning Target 5, identifying special angle pairs and their uses. So types of angles that we have. We have adjacent angles, which means two angles that share the same ray, they are right next to each other. Unfortunately, angles one and two being adjacent does not tell us that we know anything about their relationship. They don't add up to be anything. They're not congruent, things like that. So adjacent angles, not necessarily that helpful. Vertical angles are two angles that when you have two lines that intersect, the two opposite angles are called vertical angles. So we say that angle one and two are vertical. This is very important. We use vertical angles all year long. And angle one is congruent to angle two because they are vertical. They are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. So one and two are vertical. Not only that, these two angles are vertical. And if I call those angles three and four, I can also say that angle three is congruent to angle four. Vertical angles are congruent. Very important. You've got to know what vertical angles are. Here, two angles that add up to be 90 degrees, we say, are complementary. So complementary starts with a C, and so you can see that C is within 90 degrees strategically. Complementary adds up to be 90 degrees. You also need to know this term, very important. Supplementary, two angles that add up to be 180 degrees. Supplementary starts with an S, and you can see that that is in 180 degrees. These two angles add up to be 180 degrees. So two angles that add up to be 180 are called supplementary. Complementary adds up to 90, supplementary adds up to 180. You must know both of those. Down here, pause the movie, put true or false on, e on each of these, press play when you are finished. Okay, three and two. These guys are vertical angles, true, so they are congruent. Eight and seven, these guys do not add up to be 180, so this is false. They don't form a straight line. Five and six are adjacent. They are adjacent. Better than that, five and six are right next to each other and form a straight line, so they're a linear pair. They are supplementary. One and two are supplementary. That is true. One and two together form this straight line, therefore they are supplementary. There are things you can conclude from a diagram, angles that are adjacent, angles that are adjacent and supplementary, and angles that are vertical. There are also things you cannot conclude. Angles or segments are congruent, and angles are right angle, angles are complementary. So pause the movie, put true or false on each of these, and press play when you are finished. All right, can we say that AE is congruent to EB? Because of these markings right here, yes, you can say that. That is a true statement. Can we say that DE is congruent to EC? We don't have any markings to indicate that those two segments are congruent, so no, we can't say that. Can we conclude that angle AED is a right angle? AED looks to be a 90 degree angle, but there are no markings there to indicate. So that is a false statement. And then can we conclude that AB bisects DC? Now in this statement, notice that it's DC that's being bisected. And can we show that DC is bisected? No, so that's false. But if you want to make this a true statement, you could say that DC bisects a, B, and because of these markings here, you know that that would be a true statement. So you could make it true. A linear pair is a pair of angles that form a line. A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. The angles form a line. We say one and two, they share the same vertex and they form a line. We say that they are a linear pair. And if they are a linear pair, then they are supplementary. They add up to be 180. So star this. Linear pair, you're going to need to know. We use linear pair all the time.
So linear pair postulate. If two angles form a line, a pair of angles that form a line, then they are supplementary. So supplementary are just two random angles that add up to be 180. So let's say these two angles add up to be 180. They're supplementary. But a linear pair are a pair of angles that are right next to each other that form a line. So therefore, they are supplementary. Linear pair. ABC, DBC are a linear pair. So let's draw a line. Put a ray here. It tells me what the measure of ABC is and what the measure of DBC is. I'm going to assume that DBC is the larger of the angles. So I'm going to make this one DBC. Notice B is the vertex. The other one's going to be ABC. B is the vertex. And then I'm going to label this as angle 3x plus 19. And notice that's the angle, so that's here. And then this guy is going to be 7x minus 9. It's the angle measure here. Now, it says that they're a linear pair. You can see that they're a linear pair. So you set it up by saying that 7x minus 9 plus 3x plus 19 equals 180 because linear pair angles are supplementary. Then we solve this guy. We get 10x plus 10 equals 180. So 10x equals 170 x is 17. Now we got to get the measures of each of these. The measure of angle ABC is plugging that back in right here, 3 times 17 plus 19, which gives you ABC is 70. And now you could say that the measure of DBC would be 180 minus 70, which is 110. But let's get it another way to double check ourselves by plugging it in. 7 times 17 minus 9, and you'll see that you get 110. And it's good that we get that, because that works. What can you conclude from the information in this diagram? Pause the movie, try to state all the facts that you could, can conclude, and then press play when you are finished. Okay, so on this one, there are certain things that you can conclude that one and two add up to, get, to give you the measure of four. Uh, five and three are vertical, therefore congruent. One and two are congruent. You can see that because the arcs are marked as congruent. Four plus five is 180 because they're a linear pair, therefore they're supplementary. If I add one, two, and five, I get 180. Um, also true of one, two, and three gives me 180. And there's more that you could say about this. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Its endpoint is the angle vertex. Within the ray, a segment with the same endpoint is also an angle bisector. The ray or segment bisects to cut in half the angle. So here in this guy, we've got the AY is an angle bisector. Therefore, these two angles are congruent. So knowing that, when we have an angle bisector, if LM is bisecting angle JLN, the first thing you need to do is draw that out. So let's get angle JLN. How do you know what the vertex is? It's in the middle, L. So we got JLN. Now I've got LM bisects that angle. So LM bisects, meaning it cuts this in half. Those two angles are congruent, so you need to mark those as congruent. JLM is 42 degrees. What's the measure of angle JLN? Well, if JLM is 42, what's the measure of MLN? It's got to be 42 as well because those two angles are congruent. And so JLN would be all of that together, giving you 84 degrees. Looking at this, we want to find the value of X and the measure of angle ABC. So we've got two things to find, the value of X and the measure of angle ABC. So we've got some relationships here. One thing you need to know is that angle in there, that means a 90 degree angle. 
Now, because it's this ray and this ray, we also know that this guy's a 90 degree angle because they're vertical. So that would also be 90 degrees there. So we know that these two would add up to be 90. We say that these two angles right here are complementary angles. So the 4x plus 23 added to the 2x plus 1 would equal 90 because they would need to be complementary angles. Let's solve this equation. We get x is 11, and then we're going to plug that back in to get ABC. ABC is down here, which is 3x, so that's 3 times 11, which gives you 33 degrees. And so those are our answers for these two. Okay, look for relationships to solve, to set up and solve for x, then find the measure of angle ABC. Pause the movie, try this on your own, press play when you are finished. All right, so on this one, you've got these two angles, the 6x plus 13 and the 7x minus 2 are a linear pair. They're a pair of angles that form a line. So we set them by adding them together, setting it equal to 180, and then we're going to be able to solve that equation. We get 13x plus 11 equals 180. 13x equals 169. x equals 13. And that gives us what x is. x is 13. And then we need angle ABC, so we plug it back in here. 7 times 13 minus 2 gives you 89 degrees. So we get those two angle measures. And that's how we get this lesson. We're looking at angle pairs and their relationships. One last thing before you start the homework. Whenever you see this symbol, it means that the lines are perpendicular. So an upside down T means perpendicular. It means that the two lines will inter intersect at a 90 degree angle. So keep that in mind, and that's all for this movie. Thanks for watching.